Well, hey, it's good to see you. It's been a while since I've been on camera. I have to say I have not missed being on camera. Uh, but I am grateful that this week is Holy Week and we're getting ready for this really, really this incredible moment in the life of the church where we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. And this is the, this is the, the ultimate part of what it means to be a professing Christian is that we, we have our faith in a risen Lord. Uh, Paul said, if Christ didn't rise, then we are the biggest fools on the planet um, because everything is linked to this moment. And all this week, uh, we are participating in, in one form of worship or another, really examining ourselves deeply, um, looking in on Good Friday, on Monday, Thursday, gathering together as we gather in a sense in the upper room and, and have that moment to really think about these final moments of Jesus. And then Friday, thinking through um, the Tenebrae service and, and the, the Lord's death, uh, and then spending time, hopefully reflective on Saturday, thinking about what it meant for Christ to die for our sins. And then Sunday, gathering together as a body of believers in this grand celebration of Christ's resurrection. I hope that this week finds you really thinking deeply about what it means to be a follower of Jesus, what it means to make Jesus known, uh, and what it means for you uh, to, to just give yourself to him all, all over again. I want to invite you into that. But, you know, and part of that thing is like uh, this idea of us being together in, uh, as, a, as an Easter celebration is recognizing that we are in this process of God doing new things in the life of Blacknall. We'll find out more of those things as the, as the year progresses, as we step into what it means to know Jesus and to make him known. And so I hope this week that the Lord richly blesses you and encourages you as you look to Easter uh, as this ultimate part of what it means to follow Christ. The Lord bless you today.